Welcome back to ESPR Boxing. My name is Gregory Doyle. I am delighted to be joined by ESPR's Niall. Niall, first of all, before we get into another really exciting topic, how are you this fine evening? Uh, I'm good, yeah, all good. Can't complain. Uh, looking forward to this one. This this should be a very exciting, uh, exciting fight to talk about anyway. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. There's a bit of national pride here. With yourself, Niall. So the fight, um, guys, that we're looking to discuss, we're more looking to discuss Michael Conlon. But what we are looking to discuss tonight is Michael Conlon takes on Luis Alberto Lopez for Luis Alberto Lopez's IBF World Featherweight title. That falls on a massive night of boxing on the 27th of May. First of all, Niall, is this a fight that you're really looking forward to as a fellow countryman of Michael Conlon? It is, yeah. I'm really looking forward to this. As you say, the, the Irish Connection world title fight back on, on this side, you know, it's great. Uh, great to have, especially the week after Katie Taylor. But um, yeah, as a, as a Conlon fan, I'd be, I'd be worried about this one, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. It's a really, really good fight, Niall. Um, I think that we know that we know that Lopez has got a bit of pedigree there. He holds the win over Josh Warrington. He came over to these shores very, very unknown. He stopped Isaac Glow. But Michael Conlon, he's got a massive amount of experience himself. He's an Olympian. Um, he boxed Lee Wood for the world title. With the exception of a, a minute or two, he was winning that fight. Um, first of all, I just want you to talk me through the fight. How do you see this fight going now? Because it's an interesting clash of styles. Um, both guys, in some ways, they're similar. Lopez likes to come in and out of distance. Conlon likes to come in and out of distance. But Lopez hits that a little bit harder. Now, break this down for me. How do you see this fight going? Um, yeah, as well as mentioned before, as a, as a countryman, I, I'd hope for a Conlon win, but I think stylistically, I think it's a bad fight for Conlon, to be honest. I, you know, as you say, Lopez, he, he, he likes to get in and out of that range, but he's also, he's he's quite unorthodox. I think he has to start to trouble Conlon in that he's he's unorthodox in the way he throws his shots. You know, he's, he throws them from all different kinds of angles. He almost throws, if you watch him punching, he almost throws up from the hip and He's a he's a volume puncher, so we keep the pressure on Conlon, you know. And of course, he has the power, the power as well. So I think stylistically, I think it, it, it's a worrying fight for Conlon. But on the other hand, I also think Conlon has the ability and the boxing skill to, you know, if he's on it, he can he can certainly make it, make it a good night for himself. Yeah, yeah, sounds sounds about right to me. Before we get into the fight and we can, you know, dissect what we think will go down, etc. And, and things, I want to talk about the rankings in the featherweight division. At the moment, um, independently, we've had a look at the rankings. At the moment, they have got Brandon Figueroa as number one. Um, Mauricio Lara is at number two. You've got Ray Vargas in there, roughly at number three. Um, Robsy Ramirez at number four. And you've got Lee Wood at number five. At the moment, do you see... Taking into consideration that Michael Conlon was doing very well with Leeward until the stoppage, do you think Michael Conlon is a top five featherweight or he, he's there around about that neck of the woods anyway? Yeah, yeah that's the thing. As You know, ability-wise, I think he's right up there with the best of them. You know, skill set-wise, he's up there. The question is, you know, can he rebound? Can he show us against Lopez that he can rebound against a quality opponent? You know, can he rebound from that Leeward defeat? Uh, but I think Hallett, you know, on skill set and on his day, he can match it with the best of them. Like that's 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 a hell of a top five. There's a there's such quality in that, and there's there's such a mix of styles. There's Lara with his power, Ramirez with his pedigree, his amateur pedigree. You know, it's and of course Lee Wood, who has the the kind of has the voodoo sign over him already after what happened last year. So it's just a matter of can he get out and prove it now that he can, you know, compete at the top level because skill set wise, uh, I think he's he's definitely up there for me. Now, were you impressed with the Luis Alberto Lopez that beat Josh Warrington? Did you expect him to win that fight after the way that he dealt with Isaac Lowe? Or were you a little bit in awe that night? Um, it was a split decision, it was a close fight, but I think everyone really had Lopez ahead um, and that's where he won his world title. And it was on home soil in terms of Josh Warrington. It, it was he came to the, the champion's backyard and beat him. Were you impressed by Lopez that night? I was. I was very impressed, as you mentioned before. He came over, I know he's on quite a good winning streak and he has a couple of good wins. He beat Isaac Lowe and he beat uh, 
Gabriel Flores as well, who was undefeated before he faced him last year. So I was impressed. I thought Warrington would beat him, to be honest. Uh, and I was also impressed that night uh, how how we kind of dealt with being in that fire. Like Warrington made it kind of made a rough from that night with his with his tactics. You know, where do you say? You know, he, he used the head a lot or not, but he, he, he got up close and personal and I, th- I thought Lopez done very well. And especially in Leeds, you know, that kind of, that partisan crowd in Leeds, he's going to, ha- he's going to have to deal with a similar crowd in Belfast. So that, that's another kind of advantage I give him is that he's already been in the enemy t- territory and he's come out on top. So I don't think. I think that the experience against Warrington stood him in very good stead uh, for what for the the atmosphere that he's going to have to face on on the you know on fight night. So yeah, yeah, Belfast is a special place for fights. It's it's a crowd that I've seen some fighters go to Belfast and they choke. The the fans are just like no other there. Now May the twenty seventh. Do you think that that crowd? We, we've seen Lopez go to to England. Um, to fight Josh Warrington and cope with the crowd. But another way to spin that question, do you see that crowd spurring Michael Conlon on that a little bit more to raise his game by 10% to give him more of a more of a pull in the fight? Do you think that can make a difference on the night? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I think it can make a huge difference. Like, as you said, the Belfast crowd is so special. I mean, I was there, I was there in the arena last summer when he beat uh, Mariaga. It was yeah. a fight back after he, he fought Lee Wood, and that was just that that was just a comeback fight. Like no disrespect to Mario Aga, that was a comeback fight after you know the the Wood disaster. But even then, the crowd were incredible. So I can imagine for a world title fight of this magnitude, it's going to be that times ten. So I definitely think it can, you know, dra- spur him on and drag him forward. But as I say. Uh, Lopez, he's used to this now with being in Leeds. You know, Leeds and Belfast are, will be quite similar in terms of how hostile the crowd is. So that won't face him, but it it, it could definitely help Conlon. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, finally, I just want to know. Um, let's talk real talk here. I've got fighters I really like. I'm sure you've got fighters you really like, but this is real talk now. This is we step outside our preferences, who we like, who we dislike. Tell me how this fight goes in May the 27th. Michael Conlon, Lopez, the IBF title, Belfast. Think of the crowd, think of how it will spur Michael Conlon on, Lopez not being phased, being the champion. I want to know how this fight goes. Yeah, well, as you say, it's it's definitely a heart versus head thing. You know, my heart wants Conlon to do it, but if I had to, if I had to make a prediction, I think Conlon... He has a great start early. I think first half of the fight, he's ahead on points. And then Lopez will push on and, you know, start putting the pressure on him sec- towards the second half of the fight and walking him down. And I think Lopez will win a close decision. Similar to how he's done in Leeds, I think it'll be a close split decision win for Lopez. I think one thing we can agree on, though, now is the fight that we are really, really looking forward to. Um, Michael Conlon, Luis Alberto Lopez, the IBF World Featherweight title. Um, Belfast, May the 27th. We cannot wait. Niall, uh, thank you so much for joining me this evening. Greg Doyle, ESPR Boxing. We'll be back to speak to you guys again soon. And yeah, Niall, just thank you so much for joining me. Great to join you. Thank you. Thank you. Take care, guys. Cheers.